Hey friends, it's Whitney. Welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. And I'm so excited for today's video because I am sharing some Hocus Pocus inspired inspiration and DIYs to decorate your home for Halloween. I've been seeing these adorable tier trade setups, including these wood signs, different Ray Dawn mugs, and I decided to DIY them and bring you along for the ride. On top of all that, I will be sharing with you how to get this Pinterest inspired look on your own tiered tray. So grab your supplies and let's get started. The first DIY we're gonna do is this Buffalo Check placemat pillow and it is super easy to create. I ended up making my own SVG for this because I found a PNG file, which is one color online. And I went in, uploaded it, and as you can see here, I cut out each piece of the different hair for the three Sanderson sisters, and then I imported them as their own image. And the reason I did that is because I wanted blonde, orange, and black hair versus having it all be one color. So I put everything in there. I changed the vinyl settings so that it would cut its own color. I ended up going through and sizing it to my pillow and basically creating the I put a spell on you decal. There are a ton of options if you go on Pinterest and search free Hocus Pocus SVG files. So be sure to do that if you don't feel like designing your own. Then I went through on my Cricut and cut everything out with heat transfer vinyl. So this is the one that you're going to want to flip and put the shiny side down. And you're also going to want to make sure that your mirroring is on and your little setting is set to iron on. That is something that a lot of people forget and it will be really frustrating if you do not do that. Then I went through and weeded all of the pieces and got ready to transfer them. Then I used my heat press and went layer by layer to put them on top of the placemats. These I got from Walmart for $1.98 a piece. So together under four bucks and they make a really fun pillow that you can customize, which I love. I started with my white little oval that I made and I added this to my design so that I could see the design on top of the buffalo check. I was worried it was going to be too busy. So I put my circle down and then I got a just kitchen towel that I had, a cotton one, and put it over the top kind of as a protector. And then I went through, pressed that down, and once that was set, the next step was to do my black layer, which was the black hair and the wording and then I repeated those steps for Winnie's hair and Sarah's hair until it was complete. I gave that about 30 minutes just to make sure everything was cooled off and set and then it was time to assemble my pillow. So the first thing I did was set everything with hot glue so I just went around the outside with my glue gun and glued three of the four sides. And then I stuffed the end of the pillow with some extra fluff that I had from an old pillow but you can use polyfill or just grab a cheap pillow from Walmart, there's a ton of different options. And then I sealed it with the hot glue and then I went through with a blanket stitch to essentially finish off the look. It, you don't need to stitch it to keep it together. The hot glue will look just fine, but I wanted to finish off the edge. So I am not a sewer by any stretch. Megan over at Glue Guns and Roses actually has done these to her pillows. So she inspired me to try it on mine. Again, I am no expert or anything. So I'm really not even in a position to try to teach you how to do this because it's a miracle I did it myself. It's not hard, but it's hard for me to explain. So I will link down below the video that I followed. It's really easy to follow. And obviously I was able to do it. 
So pretty proud of how this turned out, especially because I am not a sewer by any stretch, like I said, but that really finished off the top and the bottom. I like the white. I just ended up getting the thread from Dollar Tree and this is really cute for my fireplace. Up next are some super fun rapid fire DIYs. The first is this melted LED candle from the Target Dollar Spot. I added this decal that said, who lit the black flame candle? And then also to kind of add to the look, I just took some black acrylic paint and some painter's tape and painted the flame black. Super simple, but really impactful. Up next are these really fun Radon dupes, and I was able to create them from $4 mugs from Target. So right now, Hearth and Hand has these slate mugs, and I found them in store, and they are perfect for Radon dupes. I also grabbed this cauldron from the dollar spot, added some Radon decals that I made with the skinny font. These really elevate the look of my tiered tray. I did the same thing with this larger cauldron, but I added, I put a spell on you, and then I set up my little Funko Pop Sanderson sisters. I got them from Spirit Halloween. I will have a link down below for you if you want to get your own. And then I added them on top of little Dollar Tree blocks that I stained. This project has to be one of my favorites in the whole video, and it's this cute little gnome. And this is actually made from a Christmas ornament that's out right now at Dollar Tree. Now, I saw this and I thought I'm going to stock up on these because I can make them for every season. So you just have to do a little bit of operation and make it however you want. So the first thing I did was remove the hot glue from the little nose and set that aside. And then I figured out how big I needed my hat to be. I ended up using an old tank top because I didn't have any black fabric on hand so you can use honestly whatever you want but this tank top worked perfectly it was gonna go to goodwill anyway so i just decided to reuse it and i basically measured out what i wanted my hat to look like and assembled it basically you just need a big triangle that you can kind of create some seams and glue it together as you can see nothing super fancy i just went and made some faux seams on the edges and then just glued it together so you're basically making a fabric cone for his hat the only thing here is you want to make sure it's bigger than the head so it fits over that top cone piece once my hat was assembled, I went and added a quick heat transfer vinyl decal that says I smell children in the font Amatic. It's free. I will link that down below. I like it when I'm doing Ray Dunn inspired things, but I need a thicker font. So I made sure to put that on the hat before I put it on his head because I didn't want to heat press it while it was on the little gnome. Once I went to add the hat, there was like a little lip that I was able to pull apart for the hat. So I just kind of tucked it underneath so all of the Christmas hat was covered. And then I glued all around the outside so that the hat stayed in place. Final step is to glue back on the face and you are all set. Now I wanted to take it a step further though and make it so he would stand up on my tear tray. So I cut open the bottom, removed some stuffing, made a little weight with a Ziploc bag and some rice. You could use beans, you could use rocks, really anything. I took that bag of rice, put it up in the bottom of the gnome as a weight, and then I just took some hot glue and resealed the bottom, and that helps him sit up on his own on my tiered tray. I glued the hat so it didn't move from where I wanted it and plopped it right on the tray and I love it. I, you see these all over Pinterest and it's so awesome that you can recreate it with a Dollar Tree product for any holiday that you wish. Also gonna be doing a ton of these for Christmas. Another thing I've been seeing all over Pinterest are these wood tiered tray signs. So I want to show you how to make it. So you're going to need a center piece of wood that is cut to square. This is four inches by four inches, then some furring strips to frame it out. I will leave all the measurements down below. Then I just went through with some black acrylic paint and painted the back of all my signs. I wanted to go for a chalkboard look. And then I ended up just cutting out decals from my Cricut onto some white vinyl and transferred it. Both of these signs, I used elements from different things that I have purchased, so I unfortunately can't share them for free, but you can find some of these elements and create it yourself. 
Once all my signs were made, I went through and grabbed my borders, which I had stained with just my favorite color stain, Dark Walnut by Minwax. And I went through and matched everything up to make sure everything was in the right spot. And then I finished with my Ryobi nail gun. I love this thing. We have used it so much. We lent it to my brother. He used it all over his house that he's redoing. And it is just such a good quality piece. So if you're interested in making signs, I would highly recommend it. And then you are done. These you could make for honestly any season. This is another thing I'm gonna bring back for Christmas and it really is such a great anchor piece for your tiered trays. And now let me give you some ideas on how you can recreate a Pinterest inspired tiered tray at your own house. So the first thing I do is lay out all of my supplies that I could possibly use. Now I'm not gonna use everything that's on this table, but I like to have options to pull from. So this includes items of different sizes, different textures. So I've got like shorter, squattier, larger things. I've got wood signs with, that look like, you know, the chalkboard plus the dark wood outside. I've got little cauldrons, a little gnome little Funko Pops, I think is what they're called. I'm not a collector, I don't know for sure. I just know they're cute and I like to decorate with them. Um, I've got a couple of my DIY mugs here. I've got some, I love to use paper straws in the colors of the holidays. I do that for Christmas, 4th of July, Valentine's Day, all of them. So um, these I grabbed for 98 cents a pack at Walmart. Got some Dollar Tree books here, I've got a pumpkin from the dollar spot last year, DIY beads, though it's a Dollar Tree DIY, I will link that for you. Um, little pumpkins, and then probably one of my favorite things that I love is to have little risers. So these are just the Dollar Tree little like blocks that they have, their unfinished wood block, and I just stain them, just stain these to the color that matched my decor. So these are awesome because they really blend in with the look so they don't stick out, but then it gives you different heights for different items that you have on your tray. So here we go, let's decorate this tiered tray. I will also link this down below. This tray is Hearth and Hand from Magnolia Target. So my first step always is to pick some large pieces that are gonna anchor my tiered tray. So here it's my gnome, it's my mugs, it's my sign. Then I'm gonna go through with medium to small items and kind of fill in spaces. I also wanna make sure that I'm using my risers and making sure it's full but not too full. Final touches are things like these paper straws, some beaded garland, and really just filling any holes that there are so then that way it's got different heights and it looks well-rounded. On the side here I decided to add some items flowing off of the tray to have a full table display and this is how it turned out. I love that it's Hocus Pocus themed, you can go just Halloween, there are a ton of different options. And finally, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen that I shared this over there. I actually saw this on the Bullseyes Playground Fanatic Facebook group. If you like the Target Dollar Spot, you need to be a part of that. I will link it down below. But someone had bought this off of Etsy, this SVG file, and ended up putting it on this Target Dollar Spot picture. And it is so cute. I am so excited to use it. But then I decided to take it a step further and create a merch kind of feeling sweatshirt that looks like it comes from the Sanderson Witch Museum. So I used my heat transfer vinyl. I cut out the SVG from Etsy. It is very affordable, so I'll link it down below for you. Went through, weeded it out, and then added it to a super cheap sweatshirt from Walmart. I got this for about $8 and they have a ton of different colors. I grabbed a red one for a Christmas DIY. So I went through, lined everything up, used my cotton towel, and then went through and pressed it. I typically look at the makeup of my shirt or sweatshirt, and then I go on Pinterest and look for heat transfer vinyl guides. It will tell you your temperature, how long to press it, things like that. So I use that as a tool every time. And then this happened to be a cooler peel, so I waited until it had cooled off and then I peeled off my transfer sheet. 
I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt. I am probably gonna wear it all the time from now until Halloween. It is super cute. This would also make a really cute reverse canvas sign if you wanted to do that. A ton, ton, ton of different options. Also, if you are ordering from online with these Chime and True sweatshirts from Walmart, I am typically a large in shirts. This is a large. I could probably have done an extra large for additional length, but FYI. I hope this video gave some tips and tricks on how you can decorate your tiered tray really for any season. And also if you're a Hocus Pocus fan, I hope this gave you some ideas to add it to your decor for Halloween. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done so already to stick around for some future DIYs. And speaking of other videos, you can check out these right here because they are some of my favorite things that I have done lately here on my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!